Bye. So yeah, I'll do the face cut, and I'll let you know when uh, I'm going to do the drums. I'm going to do the back cut. It's pretty quick. It'll probably only be about, say, two minutes on the back cut. So when should I be back here? Oh, I mean, I'll, I'll be, so this thing will be down in, in about seven minutes. Oh, I got seven minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm going to move my quad, dude. Yeah, it's about time to clean this truck out. Jamie and I are going on a trip to Montana Friday. It's Tuesday now. I've been getting a lot done. A lot done on clearing the home site, cleaning the whole property up. It's been 30 days since we got the word that we were going to be able to get this house. And the house is all cut in half sealed up up on wheels sitting at the opposite side of the field that it was a lot of these trucks over here were over here we've already got some trees cleared out you can see where a big limb got broke off of that one yep there's firewood there's firewood but look at how much it's opened up out here quite a bit It's going to be our yard over here. Anyway, I got to go uh, get my flag raised back up as I had it half mast for Memorial Day yesterday. But I thought I'd give you a sneak peek today on Classic Truck. And welcome back to the channel, by the way. But today on Classic Truck Rescue, I think that has air brakes. It's also got a Cummins diesel in it. And I just kind of parked it there and then it wouldn't start so I left it there I've got everything cleared around it. It's got to go that yellow fire trucks got to go the red fire trucks got to go The tire piles got to go that we inherited by the way uh, so I Think that has air brakes and if you don't run you know movie I was able to move everything else not a problem young can can handle it, but that no that is a heavy truck so we'll try to get that running. I gotta get my building materials out of there first. And uh, get that tire pile moved. We're gonna deal with those tires. I'm tired of moving them. Still got some trucks to move out here. Clear path for the house. There's my building. Uh, I had some people ask, where'd your building go? What's up with your building? There it is. There it is, folks. It's still there. It's fine. Thank you for your concern. But uh, when homie has an opportunity to get a house, he's going to do everything he can to get that house.
We'll do some patriotic stuff, folks. Jamie noticed that my Oregon flag was upside down. <laughs> she said, do you know that that means distress? And I go, yeah, Oregon's in distress. Not out here where we live, but trust me, Oregon's got some issues going on, but we love it. We love our part of Oregon. Very cool. <laughs> it's a little tattered too, the Oregon flag. Uh, I love Oregon, don't get me wrong. This is beautiful. It's beautiful, Oregon is. And most of the people, my neighbors, all my neighbors, awesome people. But there's just some spots in Oregon you don't want to send your wife alone. <laughs> Where you want to take off from, buddy? How about right here? How about right here, little buddy? McSeven. I had to put some parts on him, folks. He crashed yesterday. I had to put some new parts on him. I'm getting to be quite the, the McFly doctor. Yeah. Okay. Let's get him connected. I was going to let you guys go ahead and hover and play the national anthem while I raise the flag back up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Gotta check on McFly, he's acting a little weird today. Plus, I just put new parts on him. He's always a little weird when I put new parts on him. Oh, I'm hung up on my light. That's not good. That's no bueno. That's no bueno. There we go. I still, I, I kind of get creeped out by ladders. It's almost two years ago. I took a ball off a ladder that wasn't any joke. It was not fun for me.
I know I should have used the bucket truck for that. I agree with you. I just got it running again. Well, can't really say that when I just put gas in a battery in it or two batteries. Oh. Oh, it was very cooperative this year. I got to get McFly down. I'm just going to leave this set for a second. No, McFly, don't do it. Don't do it, McFly. Go down right there. Well, that's acceptable. That's acceptable, little buddy. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Got the flag up. Got some good video. I'll be back when I'm getting something done on that four-wheel drive truck. what we're working with <clears throat> there should be a place on here where I can air up the system and thereby be able to release my brakes there should be a tire valve somewhere I don't know folks, I should have uh, had old no key. I guess I better go find the key first. Holy cow. Alright, and then we had a battery meltdown situation with this truck. Over here. Well, it was contained to the battery though, so we should be able to just hook up the batteries 
Ugh. The batteries from the bucket truck to this truck do got to find a key though. Do got to find a key. First we'll check and see if it's one of them sloppy old ignition switches that lots of keys will work in. Does it have air brakes? That's pretty silly. I drove it over here and I don't know if it has air brakes. But I'm going to assume yes. Because I see them. That was a good clue. Alright, so I need a key. Those my tires. As long as, they're, as long as they got some air in them, we don't have to go far, but we got to go. This thing's got to go. Looks okay. We got some rollers. We'll try the old sloppy key thing. See how we're doing on on the sloppy key thing. on my keychain what <laughs> that's awesome thank you Lord we got lucky on that one folks I don't get very many keys for my trucks on my keychain I usually go get that specific key but uh, I lucked out today let's go get some batteries and tools oh let's take a peek under here what are we working with folks I'll show you I'll show you what we're working with Cummins, a dirty old Cummins. It's a dirty old Cummins. What's that? I don't know what any of this is. None of it. I'm ignorant. Ignorant. There's a little switch. Kind of a three way ish type switch. Huh. All right, folks, we'll get some tools and see what's what. Oh, what's, I thought I put some, I did put five gallons of fresh diesel in this. Well, when last I was trying to start it, but it does look a ways down there to the bottom. Let's check. Let's get a precision instrument and check that out, folks. Preferably without moss. Yeah, that's one. There's one right there. That's a very precision instrument. All right. There's a spring in there, though. I see that. I see the spring. Okay, so we're right to there. You know what? That's pretty low. I'm going to go ahead and take a gamble and put five gallons of freshie in this thing. We'll do that. This we will do. And a couple of fresh charged batteries. And I'll be back.
We'll make friends first. I'm not stupid. I know how to make old trucks love you. First you feed them. You feed them first. Gurgle, gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle. They like it when you feed them. Can we be friends today? Old hooker. Old hooker. We'll call it the old hookah. It's got a hook on the back. And I guarantee you, if you hook on something with this, it's going to go where this goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never got to experience the joy of owning this. I, it's something I really wanted, and I worked really hard to get it and come up with the money. And I drove it home, and I never got to play with it. And I thought we could use something like this out here. Most definitely. Maybe I'll get to play with it today. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? You can have it all. Drink it up, buddy. I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend today. I'll give you a nice parking spot if you'll run for me. Give you a really nice parking spot. Look at all those box elders on the windshield in there. Oh yeah, they just can't wait to mess with me. Yeah, the yard is really clearing out, but we gotta, we got a little, more, gotta take some limbs off right here. Bzzit, bzzit, zit, zit. <laughs> That's what. Yay. We had a good long drink, folks. The hookah. The old hookah. Old hookah. Nasty old hookah. <laughs> be nice. Be nice. I'm just joking. I'm just funning with you. <sighs> oh, Rick, you're lazy. Why didn't you just carry those batteries around there? As I have learned, as I've grown older, that you only have so much oomph and ear and neep. You got so much grunt that you're allotted for each day when you get older. And use it wisely. That's what. You use it wisely. Because once you run out of mm, and neem and uh, you're out. You only get so much. Oh. This makes it happy. Oh, that's wrong. No, we're not doing it like that. We're not doing it like that. That would lead to complications. That would definitely lead to complications. We'll do it like this. Is that right? Yes. That is right. Parallel, not in series. Not in series. I give her plenty of bolts. Cold cranking amps out the Yazoo. Maybe that's what it needs. Yeah, I tried for a couple of days to get this started, but it's kind of hard to work on them when you have no clue what you're working on. I am not the dieselologist. I've said it before. I'll say it again. 
I'm not, that is not my area of expertise. But I know that helps. I don't know which way this goes. Goes one way. Anyway, let's see what we got, folks. Let's see if there's life. Whole thing. Let's so get up in there. This truck's actually in pretty good shape. It's it's not rusty. It's not a rusty truck. Look at that. Look at the floorboards. It's nice. Roof's nice. Dash nice. Everything's nicey nice. Look at all them box elders. FWD. FWD. Ooh. Ooh, why is the clutch feeling so weirdish? Alright, we in neutral? Yes. We are in neutral. Nothing. Nobody home there. Okay, so maybe that switch that I was playing with over out of the batteries is in the wrong position. You would think that at least one electrical type of item ah, would show some life. Would show some life. that run park oh heater lights Something's not happening. Maybe some Cosby sauce? Where would I put the Cosby sauce? Oh, we could try this in the forward position. thousand that's two thousand tags on it all right we will try this switch in the all the way back position
apparently those work any time that the key is or the battery is hooked up okay help me folks what is it what's the deal Cummins fuel system fuel system that's where I want to look. I want to look over by the fuel system. There's the accelerator. I don't see a pump. I don't see a hand pumper. What's that? What's this? I don't see a primer. And I know I'm being ignorant. I wish my viewers could help me right now because I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. I wonder if I should try bleeding it. Dang it, I'm on my own. I'm on my own, folks. Well, I might need to be figuring out a way to air this system up. Hmm. I think I have a contraption I could put in here. I, I, in this, for the sake of expediency, I have to get this truck moved. I'm making a decision to not spend a whole bunch of time trying to get it running right now, but to get it where I can move it, which is more important. All I got to do is push it forward. Yep. So that's what I'm going to try to do here. Might as well disconnect that battery since I know the key doesn't power everything off. All I got to do is disconnect the negative from the truck. These can just sit here for a minute. I got a way to get air out here. And those cables got warm just from that. Okay, that's all right. Let's see if we can get some progress. Sometimes you gotta regroup, folks. I'll be back. We'll go ahead and cheat a little bit by getting this ready to go here. All aired up. Hi Terry, hold on. All right, you there? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you real quick. I thought I should touch bases with you um, where the house is going. There were a lot of trees, dead trees, maple trees. And is it, you think it's okay for me to film those coming down? Cause I'm doing a video on this whole process and I've got everything. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I'm not cutting anything down by the stream. It's just where the house goes and it's just maple trees because some of them are dead in the top and need to be limbed and all of that. I don't think we're doing anything wrong, are we? We're keeping, we're keeping the cedars, but they're in good shape. They're in, they're in good shape. And I, got, I had two estimates. One guy wanted to charge me 1,800 bucks to take four of them out because they were dangerous. Another guy wanted $4,500 and the third guy I said free firewood <laughs> if you take them down and the third guy feeds his family by splitting firewood up and I, so he's he's doing it um, all right and I had him sign a liability release uh, Terry that spe specified Terry Emmert, Emmert International Rick Maylander and Jamie on it so all right, I'm moving forward. As soon as we get this area cleared, I'll go ahead and draw up the site plans and get those submitted. Or I'll run them by Jer uh, Jerry down there, right? Okay, everything's going good. Thank you, Terry. Bye. That's awesome. Terry's been so right on and on board with everything we're doing here. That's awesome. I can film the trees. I can film the trees. We're not doing anything wrong, folks. Apparently here in Oregon, everything isn't as bad as the media makes it out to be. 
you can still be an American in Oregon. Chop down the trees to make room for your house. God bless America. Their compressor's full, folks. We're gonna, hopefully this little trick I'm gonna do here is gonna work. I don't really know. I don't know. It might work. It might not work. Oop. And then, that side. Sometimes I have to remember what side stuff's on. I got a lot of stuff in here. It's all necessary right now. Portable power. Portable power. Okay. Close that so all the bugs don't go in there thinking they got a free pass. Let's give this a shot, folks. There's the hook. This is why I call it the old hooker right here. We need to put that on there. Oh, Rick, you got stuff to do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Wonder if that would come loose. Yeah, that's gonna take some doing to get that off. Look at all the little amenities the hooker came with. The hooker came with amenities. All right, meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'll try to get something done. Ooh. So we'll put this guy right here. And then, maybe I can do this without having to fire the air compressor up. I don't know. There's my tire valve. Never can find one when you need one, but there's one. And the reason you can't find one when you need one is because I just put it in my coat pocket. Oh, we better do this first. Oh no, a different fitting. You're kidding. Oh, I'm not gonna have that, am I? Oh. Oh no. Well, I could change that. I could change that, and I will, because that's the only way I'm going to get there from here. Alright, don't need to drag this around. This can oop, stay here. And, heck, I'll see if I can get it working. Might as well put it to work, alright? We will plug the compressor into it. My air compressor doesn't appear to be leaking. That's weird. Because it's full. Usually if it's full, it's leaking. Come on, Uki Tail. Don't give me a bunch of poo this time. This thing's 79% charged. Which is awesome because I used it several times while we were cutting the house in half. And it's a Uki Tail. They call it a generator. I don't call it a generator. I call it a battery. A big battery. But it's a big one and it holds a lot and it's cool. It helps me out in some really iffy situations. There it goes, it's on now. It's on folks, watch. Oh, I'm not gonna waste my air, that's dumb. That's just dumb. I gotta change that fitting out.
Tom and Terry Roush gave me this. Oh, I just need that to fit on there. That will work. Thank you, Tom and Terry Roush. I know you gave me this for a tank. The classic truck rescue truck inspector general. Tom uh, and Terry Roush are good people. They live in the area and they are always finding us neat stuff. They were over yesterday and brought me these, which I really could have used back when, uh, when I was taking the house apart. I was packing my tools in and out of the house every day and these would have been awesome to have, you know? And they're stackable and, uh, but Jamie and I got a road trip coming up Friday and they'll be very handy to have for that is unlatch them here and then you can get to your bottom stuff, right? Put some McKeeters in there and screws and well, not for a road trip, but you know what I mean. Straps, sledgehammer, PB blaster, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Tom and Terry Roush. And they brought us this chair because Terry was tired of it, I guess. But also because the flower pattern matches some chairs that we already got. Uh, we, we look for, you know, sometimes free stuff. Look, it's America. People throw away good stuff. Tom and Terry recognize that. They always find us neat stuff. And uh, Jamie and I recognize that. There's nothing wrong with getting something for free. If somebody has something that you need and they're giving it away for free, go get it. Why would you pay for it? You know, that's America. It's there. It's there in America. You just got to go get it. All right, where was I before I went into my speech? I was looking for the vice grips that I had. There they are. It's, I get there eventually, folks. Stop it. Be nice. Be nice. I guess there's one on that yellow one over there, too. Kermit sent us this. I know. I've been shamelessly using them to hold my uh, shop in the box down in the wind. But that would have worked, too. Yeah, that would have worked, too. This end. Because it ha also has the same. Matter of fact, we'll just... No. It has to be a female. Well, I'm a male and a female, don't I? On that one, if I just take this whole thing, I have a male and a female, and then I don't have to molest uh, Tom and Terry's gift of the tire tank. Oop. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to have to take that completely out to get that off. Because Oh, no, I just moved the handle like that. Duh. taking this one because it has both options so thank you Kermit and by the way Kermit made me a chair I feel bad about it he made me this thing and I don't know if he was serious or not but he put a lot of work into it and he made me a boat swains chair which is basically a plank of wood that you hang from by a rope back in the Mariner days you know Kermit was a Mariner Oh, good job, Kermit. No leaky. Of course, it was new when he sent it, but anyways, thank you, guys. Thank you. We appreciate help. Help is good. This should get us going, folks. Right here. Yeah, it ain't cheap
Let's go like that. I gotta be honest with you folks, I think I'm getting mentally tired. I have been going at it like a madman for 30 days now. And I think I'm getting tired because I'm just not used to working this hard for this long, if that makes sense. Uh, I'll need to tighten that up. This will need some tightening. It's just the right thing to do. Otherwise, my air is gonna leak out that I don't want leaking out. Oh, that's not the right size for that one. What? This says 5 8 and it fits that one. But, oh, I guess you could shove it on that one. All right, that works too. That works too. Got to make sure my fittings are tight. I, I may have to keep this air compressor hooked up to this thing while I try to push it out of the way. Like I said, try. This is not a light truck right here. There's a lot of heavy accessories on it. Now, hopefully, this 110 pounds will go into this. And I would like for this, for this to be running this, it doesn't look like it's on. This will do any good. <laughs> Joe's probably kind of impressed with the clearing job I did, I bet. <laughs> He's got a pretty nice little setup for hauling his stuff. Let's see if I can move this truck. I need Joe. Looks great, Rick. I, you like it? Looks great. I overachieved, didn't I? No, it looks great. 
Yeah, I thought I'd give you plenty of room. You so, because I wanted to make sure you had uh, room to run. Yeah. Say hi to the folks. Uh, how you doing? You too. <laughs> uh, Kyle, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I thought I'd give you plenty of room to run. Perfect. And for it to fall, I need your help right now. Okay. It's an emergency situation. Yeah. That thing right there, there's no budge in it and it's got air brakes. So I rigged up a hooky compressor and oh, I got you. Mo and that uh, I got a power cell. I don't know if I told you about it, but it'll run my compressor and I've got it all plumbed into it. And I got this thing pushed up out of the holes, right. but we need to move it. Right, so you, you want to drive it? Yeah, I want you to steer, but I'm going to show you where we're going. And, it, and it's going to be hard. I tried to get it running, but something's not right. Anyway, you're going to have to immediately start going to the right because I want to put it so that its nose is facing that other truck over oh, there. Head on. Yeah, because I think it'll be out of your way yeah. there, won't it? Yeah. yeah. So this is the key with this. Don't even try to steer it unless it's moving. Yeah. But I'll keep you moving real slow and, then, and you just put in as well, much as you can. But you're going to have to swing hard to the right and then okay. hard to the left. Okay. And I want to leave enough room between the truck and the bushes to get my mower if okay. possible. Perfect. We'll do it. All right, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, this would be good to get this out of the way. See my little setup? Yeah. yeah. That'll work. Oh, I better get my tools off of there. We'll be dropping tools everywhere, but I got it all plumbed into it. This thing I got for free, they sent it to my channel if I oh. do a review on it. Oh, that's awesome. So the Uki Tel, they call it a generator. Yeah. I call it a big battery, but it's handy. Play. Yeah. All right, you ready, buddy? Here we go, folks. Thank you, buddy. That's perfect. And now it's out of our way. Perfect. 
Right on, that was thank good. you. Yeah, that was great. So Kyle, I was telling the folks about you earlier. Kyle's out here to save my life, folks. <laughs> no, I've had a lot of people, my mom and Jamie were really concerned about me going yeah. into those because we had another tree guy out here. He wanted $1,800 to take those trees down and yeah. we don't have it. Yeah. We just don't. We weren't, it, it's not every day you get a call from a guy saying, cut, hey, cut, you can have this house. Well, yeah. not you can have it, but I will sell you this house at a ridiculously good yeah. price if you cut it in half and get it ready for us to move out there. And we've poured everything that we have into it, but we're still going yeah. and, and oh. it's because of the help of people like you. So you are invited <laughs> to the uh, classic truck ranch housewarming party and uh, we're gonna have everybody that's helped with this move on the channel anyway uh, I already uh, filmed going around with so my mom has a tree guy that lives across the street and here's what's ironic he's a professional arborist mm. and tree guy yeah. and he came out here and he, he said he was giving me a real good price at eighteen hundred dollars for those trees but it's a different thing if somebody's just taking a tree down or if you're giving them the trees yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. so uh, my brother Donnie thank you Donnie suggested he's like Rick if you give the wood away guys will just come get it yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the and, on, but yeah, no, I, you're local. Being local, it really helps. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, we I live was, real close. So where do you live here in Malala? Yeah, I'm, I'm Beaver Creek. Oh, so, yeah, that's yeah, very close. Just, yeah, you know, just a, a it's 15, convenient 15 for you. Drive is what do you think about where I'm putting your logs? No, that's, that's perfect. Okay, that's great. Yeah, um, no, that's awesome. I didn't think about it till afterwards, but imagine you want a little space in between them, so you're oh, not. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll move them over no, a little. Yeah, that's It'll make it easier for you, you to cut. Nothing wrong there. Okay, but they're out of the way and. Uh, no and problem. I'm, yeah, I'm glad that the other guy. I was like, I was wondering if you're gonna pull him out or how you're gonna do him because because he was so in. That there. thing wasn't. It was so over here. Yeah, yeah. I moved it over there. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, well, I don't. It was quite a ways yeah. over here. There was another one in there, and I put it off to the right. Perfect. Uh, I don't know if you wanted that one, but I, that one I said, you know what? There's a lot of good firewood there. Yes. Don't be putting. The one to the right of it is the top that I got off my fire truck. Look, I didn't even break that spotlight, oh, and that's no. right where oh, it was I sitting. Saw, I saw it. I saw it land there. Yeah. I was like, I wonder how, how about it. Yeah. Land. So I'm just gonna push that one here. I'll show you. These are the trees, though, that we're worried about, and we've been praying for Joe. Yeah, he doesn't strike me as a religious man, so I'm not gonna <laughs> preach at him. But Jamie and I've been praying for him every morning for his safety, and we thank you. He came out here the first day he came to even look at the job. He started taking trees down and it works out really good because he just gets them down gets kind of what he wants cut off of it and then i can take the debris and get it out of his way and give him plenty of room to move around uh but those are the ones we we're worried about so what do you think i'm thinking i can just push this yellow fire truck up in between those other trucks yeah because you can fall that one this way i'll move that green and white truck yeah and I'll move this stuff and that stuff. Yeah, and yeah, I think that would be pretty good because this guy isn't that tall. Yeah, do you want to use the bucket truck? I, I talked to Terry this morning, so yeah. he knows what's going on. He said, we're perfectly within our rights. He said, you're doing everything right, Rick. Yeah. Just don't cut anything that's hanging over the stream and we're not yeah. doing that. Yeah. So, no, uh, bucket truck might, might work, my right? I, I would think, you know, I got to thinking about it and I thought to myself, that bucket truck might put me in more danger because if something unexpected happens, yeah. that thing doesn't move real fast, no, no. you know? Yeah, that's why I, I would probably just, uh, you know, put, cut this, make a seat here so I could sit, you know, stand here and cut that. Oh one. my word. But, uh, but yeah. No. But. That sounds scary. <laughs> have you taken down trees this big before, oh, Kyle? Yeah. Yeah. You have? I, I've been, I've been. I, I don't fall a lot of trees. Like, I'm not like a logger that falls, you know, uh -huh. 30 trees, 40 trees a day. Um, but I've, I've, I've dropped huge cedars and maples like this. I, you know, I have, this is what I have on my property. Okay. So, you know, yeah, I drop these all the time. Just, right on. Like you said, it's just a little tricky them being a little broken and yeah. it being multiple liter. And, you know, we'll just take it up here. This is okay. Big if here. there's anything that I can provide you that might make it safer for you, like I've got gorilla ladders yeah. with the uh, scaffolding and stuff. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe a scaffold right here. Um, I could do that you know, just to take down a few. You know, and then you just have to jump <laughs> in the right spot, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, I walk slowly. <laughs> but my uh, my mom and Jamie have both been worried about because I'm the I'm the guy 
that if something stands in my way too long, I start you, button the, into you, it. Yeah, the, so. yeah, and then when I went down and bought a new 25 inch chainsaw and the the limber, then Jamie really got worried. He got worried. But I, the, I'm glad to have those because you can always use the equipment out here. Yeah. Plus, when you get done, I'm going around with the bucket truck and I'm limbing everything up 18 feet where, where it just opens yeah. it all. But it's already opened up, oh, yeah. right? No, yeah, you'll, doing that, you'll really see an even bigger difference. Yeah. Because you know, there's a lot of limb weight down below that 15 feet, 20 yeah. feet, like you said. So. And then and then we're going to go on a program of the, the maple trees that we do have left. We're going to try to keep them healthy you and the other guy that were out here both said cut the vines at the bottom and yeah. but i used to do that a lot but i'm 61 now and you're well put i'm 36. Uh, so you have family kyle i'm just a girlfriend girlfriend, girlfriend. two dogs we'll call the dogs your kids yeah so yeah so this is going to feed your family oh, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well the bucket truck like i would just you know take out these like uh these yeah. bigger limbs yes you know, on these guys yes and um, and that one we can't wait to clean that up because yeah. we think that's a beautiful tree plus oh, yeah. it's leaning towards the stream oh yeah and we lived here eight years and we've noticed that trees that lead toward us towards the stream eventually, eventually they go in the go stream there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this setting that one right there mm -hmm. up in the trees yeah that's funny we were riding our quads and i was making a new trail and i looked up and i realized we were underneath that thing i said oh wow i didn't know that yeah it's probably it looks like it's still it's just you know sometimes they do that they fall over and they still survive yeah they still there's, grow there's leaves enough, and stuff enough, yeah you know, water nutrients and stuff. Yeah. yeah but it's really clearing out i'm really happy joe and we and jamie and i are really grateful we hope you're the, the this wood is good for you and helps you out and you're definitely helping us out yeah, we will drop that big guy today and maybe that get, guy yeah we'll launch mcfly for that i'll yeah. get mcfly up there yeah, for that i take down this little guy here and okay i'll get that fire truck out of your way next oh yeah well, that's that, that's going that way no matter what I'm, oh it's, i'm gonna get it out of your way perfect uh but you need this stuff do you need that moved out right now uh no you think you can go this way if i move that stuff yeah just that stuff if you okay don't, don't want anything like that but right. yeah this this over here is be fine and okay. irrigation it's and not like you're gonna hurt anything no. if it hits it yeah okay you don't want to smash your irrigation line yeah yeah, yeah. Well, that stuff is, we got a lot of that at our place too so okay Perfect. well i'll get I'll get, I'll get out of your hair no. thanks for helping me move the truck no, that was a, so this is a big accomplishment yeah, here yeah, look, look, at this, look at this big room guy. yeah well now i gotta move the tire pile because uh, we can't you know what that's been bothering me forever anyways i'll be filming out here and i'll go by it oh don't look that way <laughs> but it, it just happened because a lot of the tires were here yeah and as we dug them up we put them over there but i'm going to go through all of those tires and i'm going to get the ones that have rims that are specifics yeah. for classic trucks and stuff and put them in the back of the moving van the other ones i'm going to make a stack and as we get the funds we will load them on the car trailer and take them down to the tire disposable like responsible people there's tires all over this yeah property. oh that's just how it is yeah. all, all the you know old farmers just have it, everybody have their own tire pile. yeah but every time i see one out yeah. out there i bring yeah, it and yeah. put it over there well good thing about these are you know bar valley the there's no snakes or nothing that could hurt you yeah you know yeah. if i saw that down in texas oh man, yeah i lived that, in texas that, that would yeah. not be fun to go copper through. heads oh, and copper, water moccasins yeah, and <laughs> that, the, the ones that don't make any noise when you get close to yeah them, everything's know. dangerous in texas yeah. <laughs> you, you even have like your scorpion yeah even small little bugs here cockroaches there. are yeah. as big as your shoes yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> the valley is there's nothing in there that could yeah that's out. what i love about oregon we yeah. really don't have to worry about no, that stuff not here in the valley at all yeah all right buddy cool i'm gonna get to moving trucks and awesome. let me know if you need something moved or anything Perfect. but but you can expect this when you show up yeah. it's cleared out and lots of room to work awesome. All right, let's get that fire truck moved. I see no reason why we shouldn't. Hey, Joe, give me a heads up when something big's getting ready to go down. I'll launch the copter and we'll get that stuff. Film at 11, folks. <laughs> All right, that worked out good. I wonder if this is, this must have died. It's time to charge this thing, folks. Oh, it's still got 44%. Okay. 
That worked out good. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and leave this. I'm gonna close that valve, but I'm gonna leave that on because it is nice to be able to unhook those air brakes. I'll keep this fitting too. I know, I know. Rick, you're gonna lose it if you put it there. Oh, you know what? I won't lose it if I put it there. 